Okay guys, welcome back to part two. Okay everyone, I'm really excited to show you what's in the second box. This stuff is really cool. Uh, it's themed after a certain comic book character, if you will. Uh, let's just jump right into it. Let me show you the first thing in this box. Now you know this is going to be an awesome package when the first figure I pull out is none other than Joker from the animated series. Check that out. This is so cool. Oh my god. Now this isn't from the original animated series. This is an, a re-release that came out... Uh, I want to say 2010, 11. Let me know if I'm wrong down in the comments below. But uh, check that out, guys. Oh my god, look how awesome he looks. He has the most menacing looking smile on that face. I love his accessories. He comes with a pearl necklace. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Let me know why that pearl necklace is there. He has a, what looks to be... So he's got a lot of accessories. He's got he's got multiple hands you can change out from guessing different poses. This is a very very awesome figure, guys. I can't believe he sent this. This is this is shelf worthy for sure, guys. And next up, we have the very beautiful Miss Catwoman. Look at her. She's absolutely gorgeous. Now, they have done a really good job at repl replicating the original series figures but it looks like they added tons of articulation to her limbs as i can see there on her thighs and her knees and i'm sure her feet pivot as well i can see some elbow joints there and also in her in her her shoulder there her her arms look like they they rotate and it looks like her waist also moves too and she also comes with a bunch of hands so that you can change her posing so that looks really cool and she comes with her little kitty cat and her infamous little um whip and she comes with some jewelry because as you guys know she is a thief so really cool figure there all right next up we have a character from the uncanny x-men called tusk now if you guys don't remember tusk tusk was actually one of apocalypse's um horsemen and i believe his power was that he had super strength and that's oh and look right down here he has his little guy let me show you here. He has this little guy that is a doppelganger. He can make multiple doppelgangers of himself. And what's really cool about these little doppelgangers is that they have the same amount of strength as his original form does. So he can control a bunch of little strong doppelgangers of himself, which is a really cool power to have. And uh, from what I remember, uh, I think he broke off from Apocalypse's group and went off and did his own thing, which is really cool. But it was cool knowing that he was one of the horsemen. A lot of figures in this box, a lot of carded figures, and I'm really excited to see this one. This one's, again, from the Uncanny X-Men, and it is Storm with Power Glow. Now, that's her more iconic uh, suit there, the black X-Men suit. She looks really cool. She also comes with her card, which I have that card uh, somewhere in a shoebox. If you can see there, she has her little trading card. I have that card. I have a bunch of those cards, as a matter of fact. I was going through some of my miscellaneous boxes in the back storage, and I came across a box of my X-Men's uh, cards, and she's in it. I remember her being in it. Now, that's a crazy-looking lightning bolt. If you see there, that's some kind of crazy-looking bolt. And again, she has some kind of reflective lightning bolt on her chest there, so that's really cool. <laughs> now, uh, along with the Gambit being a... Uh, back talking Cajun I think Rogue is Cajun too because in the cartoon the, no I don't know she might not be I'm not quite sure on that but I just know that she couldn't touch anybody she had a very special power where she would touch you and she would drain you of your power and she would also in in turn she would absorb your power whatever it may be draining your power in the process so she could in essence very well take over Wolverine's power if she touched him she could grow claws but they won't be as strong as Wolverine's but uh, she does steal power, and uh, she is a life-sucking woman for you. So, yeah, Rogue, everyone. One of Batman's more menacing foes, Mr. Freeze. And again, it's, oh my god, an immaculate card. It's from the Superheroes line, and it's from Toy Biz. One of the more underrated toy 
companies that I feel that's out there. But yeah, Mr. Freeze looks absolutely amazing. Look at that card, guys. Oh, that looks so gorgeous. So nice. And as you know, he has to wear that suit to stay cold at all times because he has some kind of disability. Okay, next up we have one of the more underrated uh, villains in the Batman line. We have Bob the Goon. Poor Bob. Just comes with uh, kick action. I think he just lifts his leg. But uh, poor Bob gets a bad rap because he did nothing wrong. He did nothing to deserve his fate at the hands of Joker. Like, that was his right... He even said it. Joker even said it. Bob, you're my right hand man. So why did he shoot him in a moment of, of fit rage that he had because of something Batman did? He shoots his right hand, man. It really doesn't pay to be in that union, for real. Now this is something I think he's going to love, mainly because this is an original. Batman's the animated series on ca uh, carded figure, and it's Bane. It's one of, if not the most, outside from Joker, obviously being, being number one, but I think Bane comes up there in the top five, mainly because if you remember, in one of the comic books, Bane was the one that broke Batman's back. So yeah, this guy's uh, really important to the, to the uh, mythos. And uh, he looks awesome. I think in this, he has many variations, many, many drawings of him, many figures out on him. But this one's like the most classic, I believe. And uh, I'm, I'm glad he, I'm glad he's, uh, I'm glad he's carded. This is a really cool carded figure. He comes with a bumper of some sort or some type of steel beam, which he lifts over his head and throws it, which I think is really cool. Okay, next up we have a few games that he put inside of a Ziploc bag. And ooh, they're both the same theme. One of them is a Sega Genesis game called The Adventures of Batman and Robin. Now I can't say that I've played this game before, but I gotta tell you, if it's anything like the animated character that's Batman there, I'm sure it's great. I did play the animated Batman series for the Super Nintendo, so if it's anything like that one, I'm sure Will will have a lot of fun with this game. Okay, and keeping along with the animated theme, the Batman animated theme, he sent Batman the animated series for Game Boy. Check that out. That's really cool. Oh my god, I'm sure this plays awesome. Will does not have a Game Boy, but I do. So if ever he wants to borrow one, he sure wells can from me anyway. Now this is cool. He sent a Batcave from Hot Wheels. Now I can't believe this was in the box. This is so awesome. Check out that box. This is really cool. It looks like it's come, it comes with a Batmobile of some sorts for the track. Now this Batmobile cave, or this Batcave looks really intimidating. Look at that. Oh man. Oh, and it comes with this uh, detachable Batwing. Oh, that's really cool. I wonder if I'm going to have to uh, find Will some tracks. I don't know if that's the only track it comes with. More than likely it will, but I'm sure I can find some for him. That won't be a problem. So I'm always out looking and I'm always coming across Hot Wheel tracks, so that won't be a problem. But this is really cool. And lastly, the cereal Batman eats rice squares. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He used this as a receptacle for some really cool, awesome comic books. Check it out. Holy cow. This is really awesome. He sent a slew of comics. So right off the bat, let me go ahead and show you what all comes in this thing. So here we have uh, Batman number 28 from the DC Universe Rebirth. So we got number 28 there. We have number 27 from DC Universe Rebirth. Awesome, I'm guessing that's Joker. I haven't, I haven't had a read, I haven't had these, I haven't been as far as this section or this series. I haven't gone to number 27 at all. I'm still stuck in like 15 or 16 collecting these. So here we have number one, The Dark Days Dark Days, the casting, prelude to metal. I have no idea what this is. I like the, the glossy uh, the glossy cover there. That looks really nice. Again, no clue as to what these are. Here's another one called Dark Days, the Forge. Really cool, number one. Here we have, oh, look at this. From Nightfall, number nine, we've got a Batman uh looks like he's beating the crap out of the joker and robin doesn't look too happy about that next up we have nightfall number three now that design on batman looks really cool i love those long long ears there that looks really cool and that guy's not having a good day for sure 
here we have Nightfall number nine, number seven, and what appears to be Poison Ivy. Check that out. Oh, she looks not so menacing on those tight leotard, those green tight leotards. But look at his ears again. That looks really cool. This is so exaggerated. Oh my god. And then here we have, ooh, Nightfall number one. Check that out. Oh man, can't wait to give this a read before Will gets it. That's really cool. And then here, no way. Oh my God. Sweet Christmas. We have the Batman number 11 where Bane breaks his back. Mother of Zeus. Oh, that's gonna be a good read. Here we have Nightfall number five, where he is looks like he's he's literally gonna kill the Joker by sticking him in a basket full of snakes there. That's really scary. That's really scary, Batman. And here we have another Nightfall. Nightfall number 15 with Bane stretching out uh, Batman's cape for drying out in the clothesline. That's what I'm gathering. So that's really cool. Holy cow, Eric. You, my friend, rock. That's everything that he sent. Let me go ahead and set everything up on the table to show you all he, he sent. Well, here it is, guys. Everything Mr. Eric Ross sent me from Toy Galaxy up in Duluth, Minnesota. Don't forget to check out his toy store down on Facebook. You'll have the link down in the description below. Just give that little page a click and hit that like button for them. Check out their page. They have tons of wear at that store. Just look at their inventory. I'm sure Will's going to get a kick out of this stuff. Thank you so much, Eric, for being an awesome fan. We love you. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is OK Chief. Peace out, y'all.